Out here in the shop, I've got a mouse problem. For a while there, it was just getting crazy. And actually at one point last winter, I had some insulation up in the rafters and it started to drip. It started to drip from all the mouse piss that was up in the insulation just dripping down. Uh, so I decided to totally put an end to it. I caught a bunch of mice in my live traps and I cleaned it out, got rid of a lot of the fabric and cloth and places where they're bedding down. And then the other thing I did was I decided to invest in one of these electronic kitties. Now, I don't know if you're familiar with these guys, but the idea behind the electronic kitty is that it uh, emits ultrasound and is supposed to really bother pests. So I got one of these guys, it's supposed to drive mice crazy. I got one of these and then I got a bunch of them. Uh, I got uh, this one. I got this really hardcore one that you plug in and it says that it actually uh, gets rid of mice, mosquitoes, and cockroaches and has a variable uh, emission. So, you know, it doesn't just emit the frequency all at once. And I got this guy. So for a while now, for actually almost a year, I've been running four electronic cats, uh, four of these pest repellers, mice repellers out here in the garage. And the problem looked to me to be getting better. Using my trail cam, I set up a simple test. I put a little jar lid with some almond butter out here in the shop, uh, set up the trail cam, and you'll see what I saw, which was that I still had mice problems. Check it out. You got the little mice showing up, eating peanut butter out here in the shop, even though I've got four electronic cats working for me. All right, so stage two on the test of the electronic kitty. You know, I really did think these things were working pretty well. So stage two of the test, as I'll show you right now, was to actually surround the little cap of almond butter with electronic kitties and check it out, the mouse shows up. Now, to the credit of the electronic kitties, there were several nights when the mice did not show up for the uh, almond butter, but after a few nights they did. They showed up and they started feasting on it. So the last thing I'm gonna do with these ultrasonic pest repellers is uh, test them with my decibel tester. Even though the uh, sound is what's called ultrasonic or outside of the human hearing range, uh, you should still be able to register the emission of decibels using the decibel tester. So first up in the test is this uh, ultrasonic emitter from Svins. First, let's just get an ambient uh, reading. Okay, so the ambient reading is right around 34. And I'm gonna turn this guy on. And we'll see what the reading is. So this guy right here is emitting between 20 and uh, 40 decibels of ultrasonic uh, high frequency sound. The next one I'm gonna test is uh, this one. This is a real cheapo, real basic, no extra settings, no lights or anything like that. And again, let's get the ambient sound here without it turned on. It's about 34 decibels. And you can see it's on, it's got the light on right there. And it is really close to where it was before. It's really actually running in uh, right around 34 still, even with the uh, sensor right next to the pest repeller. Let's check that again. Yeah, this guy is either emitting nothing or it's just really, really uh, uh, undetectable by the meter. Uh, the third one I'll test is this guy. Um, this is one of the ones I've had out here in the shed. It has a night light, uh, which I'll just go ahead and turn off, and then it has the ability to um, emit the sound in a variable way or a fixed way. I'm just gonna set it over on fixed. I think that'll be better for our test. Plug this baby in. And you can see the lights flashing, so it's on, and we'll see what it does. So similarly, this guy is registering almost zero emissions. So these two so far are um, duds, at least according to our decibel tester. And this one right here is cranking out about uh, uh, 30 to 20 to 40 decibels. Um, the last one I'll test 
is this one. And uh, this is the one that is actually called the electronic kitty. You can see it's got the picture of the cat on here. And it's got a Euro plug, so I've got to put this adapter on it. And plug this guy in. You can see it's on with the green light. It looks like it's kicking out about six decibels. Six decibels. So uh, by far, the most impressive one of these is this Svens dude that, as, as I'll show you again, was kicking out about 40 decibels. So I just turned it on and it's cycling through mouse, cockroach, and mosquito, different sound frequencies, and we'll just see that reading again. It's up in the 50s and 60s. So I think what that means is that at least this guy is doing something. Whereas these other uh, testers over here on the, on the right are just, you know, probably not doing anything at all. But the story still stands that this did not keep the mice away. So what is the final verdict on these electronic kitties? According to the decibel tester, most of the ones I have aren't even emitting any detectable sound waves, but this one is. But as we know in the pictures, this guy doesn't even keep the mice away. So I think you're probably best off with real cat or mouse traps if you want to keep mice out of your garage.